Hey guys, me Fish Freak back today. I'm going to be talking about fuel and phytoplankton, why it's crucial and necessary to have in your tank. Today I'm going to be starting off with phytoplankton. Phytoplankton is food for your filter feeders, like my flame scallop that died. You can go back a couple videos, I explained why he died and why phytoplankton was necessary for him. Anyway, phytoplankton feeds all of your filter feeders and coral. And I'm going to tell a little story about what happened with mine. I had this stuff right here, marine, and I was feeding this to all of my corals and stuff. And this was good, it was working, and then I ran out. I went to the store to buy more food and they gave me this. This is fuel. I didn't know what it was. I wasn't reading all the ingredients in it. And a couple months later, I noticed all my corals were really weak because I was feeding them this, not phytoplankton or Kent Marine. And I went to my local fish store and I told them everything's doing really bad, flopping over and about to die. And they checked my water and everything. And they said my water was almost perfect. I was like, what could this be? And then they said, well, what are you feeding it? And I showed them what it was, and it turned out to be fuel. And they were like, oh, this isn't food. This is basically a multivitamin for your coral. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is how my flame scallop died and how all my corals are about to die too. This is basically a multivitamin to keep them healthy and give them the nutrients that the phytoplankton doesn't have. But the phytoplankton is their meal, their food that keeps them alive, not starving to death. And if I wasn't feeding them anything, they probably would have died before that. But the fuel kept them going long enough for me to realize that I needed phytoplankton. And that is basically the story and why it's necessary to have phytoplankton. On the other hand, fuel is necessary. All of its ingredients and all the coral, well, nutrients, all of the ingredients that it has to give your coral that the phytoplankton doesn't have. It has a lot more than the phytoplankton does. Like this has iodine and zinc and copper and a whole bunch of other stuff, but I'm not going to read them all off to you, but this, this ignites the coral growth, it keeps it going, keeps them growing faster than just getting a meal. Like, if it were a human, it would be like me taking multivitamin and getting really healthy from that, but not eating anything. I would starve to death slowly. But that's about it, guys. It's necessary to have fuel and phytoplankton. Leave a comment, subscribe, or email me, which will be in my description. That's about it. Now you know why it's crucial and necessary. And if you're not feeding it, I would go to your store immediately and buy phytoplankton. See you guys. Bye.